Hey everybody, um, I started working on the box for to house our nature's head composting toilet. And I thought I'd stop right now to kind of show how I build boxes. Um, I've built a ton of small boxes in the past. This is really no different. The way that this box will work is basically, this is actually the bottom and this is actually the top. It's on its side right now. And what I'm gonna do is cut off the top so that it's removable um, to basically hide the toilet. And on top of this will be a cushion so it'll actually be a bench in the van as well. But cutting this, like creating a box on the bottom and then trying to create a matching box on the top um, in separate pieces is really hard. It, it's just really hard to line things up and get it really working well. So the easiest way to do it is to actually construct the cube in this case and then to cut the top off. But there's a danger at the table saw when you do that. You can't just cut all the way through. This is half inch material. And if I just cut half inch, if I cut all the way through and then I flip it and I cut the second side and I cut the third side and when I go to that fourth side, the problem is, is that that gap, the curve of the blade, actually causes the box to actually, one, wiggle, which could pinch it, which could be really dangerous in the table saw. So the easiest way to do it is to set the depth of the table saw blade to be just under the thickness. So I did this on a test piece, and you can see that it actually flexes, but it doesn't break away. So once I do that, I cut all four sides, and I cut it thin enough that I can use a, uh, a razor blade to actually just cut through, and then I finish cutting all the way around the whole box with the actual exacto blade. And that way you don't have this collapse of any direction when you're actually cutting it on the table saw. So it's a pretty slick way to make a box um, and make sure that everything lines up. There's a couple things when you're constructing it. Make sure that you actually know where all of your screws, this was pocket hole joinery, so everything inside is pocket hole screwed. And I made sure that I, that I marked the distance and I didn't put any screws in there so I'm not gonna hit it with the table saw. Um, the other thing is, is that once you close the box up, it's really hard to tell which part is up and which part is down. So make sure you mark top and bottom so you know which side you're cutting. Um, once it's all done and I make the small kind of curve cut all the way around and then I cut it off with the box or the box cutter basically, I just take a small plane and I just basically chamfer that edge off and clean it all up. And what that does is it just lines up exactly right. The other thing you want to do is make sure that you mark the sides, top on, on the sides, so that when you actually are done cutting and you take it off and you go to clean it up and then you put it back on, you're lining up this side, this top side with this bottom side, this top side with this bottom side, so on, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure you mark it so that you can actually realign it in the proper orientation. So I'm gonna make that cut now and then I will show you when it's all done. Okay, so the cut's all done. Um, it went pretty well. I, probably, I left the curve probably or the thickness just a little bit too thick, so I ended up having to use a saw to kind of cut some sections in it, but um, I'd rather have it too thick than too thin because too thin means it could collapse on the saw, so that's always bad. So it totally worked, everything went good. You can see my mark that lines everything up. The idea with this is that eventually this whole thing will have a cushion on the top and then this will lift right off. And basically what I'm gonna do on the inside is I'm just gonna have some little tabs that stick up which I'll kind of round over so that when it sits back down, it lines right back up to the exact position that it's supposed to be in. So anyways, that's how I made the box. So there you go.